Hi folks, Canine Gardener with you. Hey, it's uh, been a little while since uh, I've done an update. This is June the 1st, first day of June, 2021. We're going to go around here and give you a little look-see of what we've been doing here. Things are looking real good. We're getting the rain we need. We have some dry spells. We have some dry spells. But uh, we, uh, I'll show you here later. We got this 35 gallon tank on the back of this golf car. We just fill it up and it takes about four trips. But here's our raised beds. These are in our side yard. As you can tell, they're deep. They're two foot deep, three foot wide, and 14 feet long. And we got uh, these are the goat bag tomatoes. These are the strawberries. And if you look right there, it's a ripe one. I had to test that, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's ready. Now, we've been picking strawberries for a good week now. There's the onions. Man, they're looking great. Mm-hmm. Mm, that strawberry's outstanding. I'm not going to pull up through there anymore. And if you'll watch the last video, you'll know why. I caught my back tire. I've got knobbies on the back of this thing. Um, 180 bucks for a pair of them for a golf car. And I tried to go through right there. If you'll recall the last video at the very end of it. And I got it caught right there on that thing right there. Oh, on that one over there. So I'll come up with a plan here. I had these pieces never put them on the garage they are about, about 20 feet long I'm going to make some corners for it there but I just what I did I just made it too narrow just made it too narrow we got 60 tomato plants in these uh, these raised beds here we've got another 15 probably 14 15 sitting on the ground like this you'll see look at this one man this one here this one here is going crazy it's a large cherry I believe that's a large cherry. Man, it, it's looking great. Uh, I got a few in there. There's a couple over there I put in pots. I will not throw them away. Now these here, I planted these seedlings. Uh, they're just different kinds of tomatoes that I didn't grow to sell this year. And I'm growing these to put in the raised beds out here when I pick them tomatoes I did that last year I grew some and when I pulled the onions then I put some uh, rosy V they're called rosy V tomatoes big pink Russian tomato plants I put them in there so we're gonna have two crops of uh, we're gonna have two crops <laughs> of tomatoes and uh, we don't really need them but uh, that plant up there hanging that's a coleus plant they're real pretty I can show you one uh, I'll show you a better looking one than that, but we got hanging baskets. We got hanging baskets everywhere. Now here's something strange. This rose bush just absolutely gorgeous. This is a real rose bush. It's not a knockoff. I bought that at a local store here, a uh, landscaping store here about five years ago, and I put it in the ground there. And I gave 12 bucks for that thing. I thought it was too high, but I did. But it was a real one. Uh, I didn't want to knock off. And uh, it grew the first year, maybe the second year. And then it went dormant for about three years. It, it, it just wouldn't grow. I thought it was dead. And that thing come back with a vengeance this year. And it's really, really nice. That's where I burned my scrap wood, just wood only. Here you go. Look at all these rose bushes. Them all, them's all knockoffs except for this one on the end. I believe there's one real one up there under the window, but there's one on the end here that's a real one. The rest of them are pretty also, but uh, uh, there's some more plants on, the <laughs> on my back porch. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten plants back here. We're getting ready to go through the blackberry patch. You all watch the video, you know all about this. Man, look at them blooming. Look at them blooming. 
them little white flowers, every one of them white flowers is a, is a berry and half the blooms have already fell off. We keep we keep this mowed down low and uh, we don't we don't plow it or nothing like that because people walk down here when they pick them. Uh, anyway, let's go on up the hill here. That used to be our regular garden. It was it was a nice garden, hundred by hundred. But uh, we we got we <laughs> we took this area up here. We, it used to be where we used to practice our golf golfing, but. We made a big garden out of it. You're all aware of this if you've watched the other videos. Let's go in here and well, we'll just start with this first row. This first row was uh, onions. Uh, there's red ones down at that end, big white candy onions up here at this end, and red candy onions at the other end. Okay, this garden, if you're if you're not aware, is 350 long. And it's about 135 wide. We use about 100 feet of it, you know. And here's a row. Each flag represents a row. There's a there's a row of cucumbers down through there. There's a row of okra. Now here's my pride and joy, of course. It's my tomatoes. They're all standing up really nice, really nice. Uh, got 10 rows here. Here I've got 10 rows of uh, 12, so that's 120 plants, all different kinds. Mostly 99, 95% of them are, are are red. I don't go into pink tomatoes too much, but uh, I've got a few. There's the last row of tomatoes. Here's a ditch right here. It drains down from the field up here on the right. Uh, it's just a natural drain. It goes down through the middle of the garden. And, oh, and I leave this part here. I, I don't do anything with it at first. I wait to see how the water's going to run. And if, if the water runs good, here's another trench I've had, I've dug myself. And uh, if it all meets up down there, then I'll, I'll farm it. I'll do something there. I'll put something in there, maybe popcorn. But here's my next thing is I got my four rows of jade bush green beans. I, to me, the best the best green bean on earth. They're good. Oh, they are so good and long and just beautiful. They are so good. And I got four rows of them. Now, if you'll notice the next four rows, there's nothing there. Well. Those four rows of green beans were put out the 14th of May. Yeah, yeah, 14th of May. Oh, this, this four rows here is going to be green beans. Same thing, jade green beans. They're going to be put out a month later. That way we don't have them all coming on at once, all eight rows. But they'll work, it'll work out. After we get this, we always have an access road. You know, you can drive down through there. Here's the first row of sweet corn. And it's a, it's really, really coming up. It's really coming up nice. Uh, really doing well this year. Sweet corn is. Uh, I got my Earthway planter. And I go back and I top dress it with, the, with this triple 12. I don't use anything stronger than that. And uh, then I'll water it in. And uh, then, you know, it's rained on it a few times. The rain's really helped. Uh, if it doesn't rain any today, I may have to water tonight. Uh, there's, I got, I got 10 rows of that, okay? Then I'll skip. And here's the 10th row. Now, here's the first row right here, double flag gear. That's uh, Indian corn. I don't know if you can see that coming up down there. Indian corn. Now I got six rows of that. There's the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth row of Indian corn. Now, here is what we always have left over from the greenhouse sales. We sell, we sell our plants. 90% of them are tomato plants, and we sell pepper plants, 
and what we have to have left over we always save a spot here in the garden for a couple of rows and there's 24 or two rows of 12 here of uh, tomatoes there's, these are all different kinds here some of them are yellow some of them are orange some of them are white and purple purple ones I think are in the raised beds but anyway we'll keep going here here's the peppers two rows of peppers that first row is nothing but the California Wonder which is the green bell they're all looking good then the, this last row over here these some of these are hot My well we're back uh, we had a little battery malfunction here but like I was telling you we got two rows of peppers here we got a that first row is uh, California Wonder and the second row here is uh, mo mostly hot peppers we got a few uh, sweet peppers we got banana peppers and we got Cuban nails I love Cuban nails but I'm trying to do this in the rain I got it I got a top on the on this uh, the newer golf car so I think we're gonna be okay uh, can't come I have we will not complain about the rain we have needed this rain I wanted to show you my blackberries every one of these blackberries back here that you see there's five rows here of a hundred feet 500 feet now these here will take a year because they're, that's why they're wimpy looking but folks all these come from my other garden my other blackberry patch they'll grow sprouts they'll go sprouts on the ground and if I find one here I'll show you uh, if you look back on one of my first videos 15 16 13 something like that a guy gave me got me started on these blackberries he gave me those five right there those five big ones okay he gave me them because I mentioned to him I love blackberries and he went home and uh, he bought some tomatoes off of me me and he come back and he brought them blackberry plants bless his heart I've not got a dime in any of these and I'm selling the heck out of the of berries but here's what I'm trying to show you uh, I hope I don't get wet but I ain't gonna complain about the rain I don't know I don't see any right now Here's some sprouting off over here. There's another one. There's some more. But anyway, you dig them up. And uh, we dig them up in the spring. I dig them up in February, I think. And I bring them back here. I put them in the ground. Uh, now, when you dig these up, make sure you get that. Uh, there's a root at the bottom of that plant. Shaped like a T. Like a T. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't cut it. Don't lose it. Or you're wasting your time. But I don't know why. But anyway, we're about ready. We're about done here. I don't want to get this camera wet. It cost me way too much money to get wet. But man, the garden's oohing and an on from all this rain. We've had it started raining here about I'm gonna say eight o'clock last night and it's one o'clock now. So uh, the next day, it's one. It, uh, it's rained a good 12 hours, uh, and it's uh, it's really it's really helping out. You, I'm, I'm wanted to come up here anyway and check out my. Um, this is the first good steady rain we've had since I planted all this. I wanted to make sure on my uh, drainage, and you can see it's all coming down this way. All coming down this way. It accumulates over there, comes out here, runs under the fence right there, right there, and runs down that ditch down to the neighbor's house down there. Uh, but anyway, it's working real well right now, real well. That's why you see this grass in here, because I won't grow anything there. Uh, that's, a, that's a drainage, that's a drainage. I got some drainage here. I gotta take my uh, middle buster plow and maybe do a little work on it as soon as I get the tractor back. It's up at the at the dealership getting some service. Uh, tomatoes are, are looking excellent. I showed them all to you already. 
got a 10 rows here of 100 of 12 so that's 120 and uh and there's two more rows back here by the peppers that's 144 Ah, oh, tomato plants and then up here in the raised beds i showed you as when we started but this rain has done wonders i mean wonders for these tomato plants they've just perked up like you wouldn't believe here uh you know what i mean there's my okra there's my uh cucumbers i even spot seeded a few cucumbers last night because i thought they looked a little a little spaced out a little too spaced out i'm going to do the same i was going to do it today to the okra right in there but uh, it's too muddy to do that my onions these onions are loving that water they're loving that rain too be glad to get my tracker back going ahead back towards the house now the old homestead there you can see it i got my roof back on my my back porch my deck and that was a job but i got her done at my age it wasn't bad it wasn't bad at all me and my wife mostly we're both almost 70 years old but it, we got it we got it no big deal I just couldn't believe the price of lumber right now. I just could not believe it. I'm glad I didn't have to have a whole lot. But anyway, that's that's every everybody's going through the same thing. Got to get down here and trim my my uh, uh, blackberry plants. So you can see them there. They're growing out in the middle there. They need to be trimmed back where you can get. There's supposed to be 12 feet between each row, and there is. Not bad. But uh, tell you what, I'm going to get off of here, close her down, and get back in the house where it's a little, or in the, in the shop anyway, where it's a little drier. So uh, I'll, I'll guess I, I'll see you in June and July, and we'll have some plants to show you then, I'm sure. Maybe some, some ripe uh, tomatoes. We usually do by the July the 4th, so we'll... We'll see you again in about a month, okay? This is the County Line Gardener saying bye-bye.